Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your boy, E2Blue, coming at you again for another video. Yes. Guess what, y'all? Cowboys made a splash in free agency. Finally. No, it's like, no, they didn't, they didn't do, they didn't do shit. They. <laughs> all right. First of all, let me explain. So a lot of you guys are like, okay, Cowboys ain't do nothing. Now they did something to free agency. It's not the big guys that you want. And the Cowboys are not going to do that. These two guys that I'm about to talk about now are good signings. And I'm saying because for depth purpose, purposes, we got them to fill voids. Because like I said, we lost two linebackers. Y'all forgot about Kyle Wilber. Wilber, he's gone too. Both of them went to the, him and Smith both went to the Raiders. So we need players for depth right now. You know, the draft, you can get those guys in the draft. You can get the ones that you want for long term. These are guys that are going to hold down the fort until we get what we need. They're, they're what you call bridge players. All right. So the first signing that we got, Joe Thomas, linebacker. We got him from Green Bay. Now, unique story about him. He actually, as Mark Holmes would say, had a cup of coffee with the Cowboys so he was an undrafted guy out of South Carolina State. He was picked up by Green Bay. So after his first year, Green Bay didn't sign him. The Cowboys picked him up as the futures for their practice squad. He was with the Cowboys, like I said, for two weeks on our practice squad. And then Green Bay signed him back for their active roster, and he's been there ever since. So... He signed a two-year contract with us. I don't know exactly what the, the dollar amount is yet, but um, he spent three years with the last three years with them. He's had 42 career games, uh, eight starts. I mean, he really only played like half the time, but stats not bad. He had uh, some reports say he had 99 total careers. Some people say 107, but either or close enough. He had a, a, a sack and a half and, and a forced fumble. Oh, and an interception, interception too. So, pretty decent stats for somebody that's you know not a starter. You know what I mean? But like, like I said, we need depth, especially behind Sean Lee and Jalen Smith. We need somebody to come in there that's a veteran that, that knows how to play NFL teams to come in and just just for the purposes of doing what we need to do, playing in our dime packages, and you know just some of the stuff that we're doing like that. Now he's also going to contribute on special teams too. He's probably going to end up being one of our core. And if he works out, Cowboys might sign him to a longer contract later. But right now, reports say it's just a two-year contract. Today, reports come out. Deontay Thompson, wide receiver. He gets a one-year contract, $2.5 million with a million-dollar bonus. Don't you wish you could sign for something like that? I wish I... I could, I could definitely use a... See what I'm doing right here with these water coolers and coffee machines? I I, I could definitely use a million dollars right now. That that would do me very well. <laughs> but uh, we got him. He was he was a former Bills player. He played. He had a well last year. He had a 38 receptions, 555 yards, and two touchdowns. Now again, he's on the team to not replace Dez, but to complement Dez. Now, this whole thing, you've seen the Cowboys all week. Oh, we've been looking at this guy, Eamon. They've been looking at um, Hearns, and Hearns was at the Cowboys facility for like damn near two days. Um, I'm pretty sure that Hearns is probably going to end up going to the Jets, especially now that we signed Deontay Thompson. We're not, I already knew that we were going to get Hearns because the only way you're going to get Hearns is if you cut Dez because Hearns is not going to sign for a contract because Again, the the other wide receivers that we were going to sign are not as comp not as accomplished as Hearns was with you know when he played with Jacksonville. So at the end of the day, Hearns wasn't going to sign with us unless Dez wasn't going to be here because you can't handle both of them. I mean, because it's almost like getting the same player. You're just getting a younger Dez Bryant, and 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 I was thinking the whole day yesterday during the snowstorm yesterday while I was stuck in the house all day. I'm like. If the fucking, I'm sorry. If the Cowboys cut Dez for Hearns, that will piss me off to no end. Because I'm like, then people outside the organization are like, the Cowboys are stupid. What the hell are they doing? Like, 
that wouldn't have been a smart idea. I know some of you probably were like, well, let's get rid of Dez. What y'all don't understand is Dez is still a all pro. He is still a Pro Bowl caliber player. And if he gets his act together, he could potentially be a Hall of Famer. So again, Dez hasn't lost it. He still has it. He just got to find it. You see what I'm, if you don't understand what I'm saying. He's got the ability. That's not that's not the that's not the issue. We just got to make these plays better for him and be able to move him around because we do the same shit over and over again. We only got four or five different routes. Like, got to switch shit up. That's what that's what Arizona did with uh with with Fitzgerald and look at him now. Cuz he struggled in the beginning too, but look at him now. They moved him to the slot and he's having his will. So, I say that to say I'm glad that we got Deontay Thompson because he's going to provide depth. He's going to help both Terrence and Dez. And hopefully, you know, it gives Dak more range of players to pass the damn ball to. And we can still get a wide receiver in the draft. We just don't have to get one in the first round. Now, we could, there's, there's, there's DJ Moore out there in the draft. Like, there's still good wide receivers in this draft throughout. So, I mean, they're definitely going to get a young guy, too. And don't forget, Y'all forget about Noah Brown. We still got Noah Brown on this team. Now, I was really high on him. I want to see him do some more. I want to see him get more opportunities in his offense because I feel like he's a big body like Dez, and I he's got the ability to play very well, too. So, yeah, so that's the splash that we did, those two guys. Now, one quick thing I want to say. I don't know if y'all can see this here. It's... Sunny as hell out here in the DMV. I'm in Virginia doing work right now. But yesterday it was snowing like high hell. Now the damn sun is out. I don't understand this weather here. But hey, it is what it is. I'm not complaining. Let, let spring start. <laughs> we got that snow out the way. Let's get this spring started. So we can get ready for this road trip to the draft. Are you guys excited? Because I know I am. And again... Y'all gonna get sick of seeing my face because whether you like it or not, I'm here. I want to thank all my subscribers again for following me and the positive feedback. I appreciate it. Love y'all to death. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, if you if this is your first time hearing about me or seeing me, hit that subscribe button. Support me. I'll keep you entertained if nothing else. <laughs> I got to get back to work. But uh, until next time, y'all, have a great day.